Hi, I'm Yuri. I'm a snowboard expert at Curated. Today, I got to demo the Skunk Ape 2 at Powder Mountain in Utah. Just so you guys know, we're not sponsored by any brands. These reviews are completely unbiased and definitely my own opinion. This hybrid camber snowboard uh, was a blast. I am a bigger guy and I was very curious how this played out today. Uh, typically, I ride more of a true camber experience and this actually held up to it. The Skunk Ape 2 is Libtech's all-mountain option for the big guy rider. It is considered their dream board in their line. The reason it is the Skunk Ape 2 is the nose has been redefined for this snowboard. If you're wondering what board's right for you, feel free to reach out to me on Curated and click the link in the description. This board is a blast to butter. The rocker between the feet really allows you to lean out towards the nose or tail and allow the rocker to assist you in exploring whatever freestyle you're looking to get into. The nose shape looks pretty cool. And honestly, I don't think it holds anyone back from improving on switch riding or even just cruising switch for a day in general. I love the fact that you could simply flick it on edge due to the rocker between the feet. And there was a better locked in sensation compared to most rocker boards I've ridden due to the camber. I think this is a great option for someone looking for a board that can dabble in a little bit of everything. I felt really comfortable at any speed. It's definitely uh, not the best option for rope toes. I had a much better time the minute I started riding steeper terrain with longer runs. This board has magna traction, which creates a serrated edge experience. It allows for seven contact points, kind of like a serrated knife, and it gives a great locked in feel on groomers, regardless of condition, whether it's soft snow or ice the Skunk Ape has you covered. I think this is ideal for groomers and intro to park experiences. Uh, rails are definitely doable. Um, riding steeps is definitely doable, but I would encourage individuals to ride true to size. And if you're looking to ride steeper terrain and really love this profile, to look into sizing up a little bit more just due to the mid flex of the snowboard. This board is not designed for the park only rider. I feel like there are other twin options on the market that might hold their own a little bit better. This is more of an option to explore your riding and find new terrain and new adventures. I would recommend this board to the intermediate rider, uh, someone who's looking to ride a little bit of everything. This would also be a great first investment option, especially for the taller or bigger guy. And I think the waist width allows you to really experience carving and really get out there and learn to rip. If you're looking for the Skunk Ape 2, or a snowboard that matches your riding style, please click the link in the description and I'd be more than happy to help you find the right fit for you. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and click subscribe for more content from Curated.